Hey, what's up everyone and welcome to another release day unboxing and this time I am <clears throat> I'm taking a look at Homefront the Revolution for the Xbox One. This is the steel book edition that's exclusive to Best Buy. At least I'm pretty sure it's exclusive. I could be wrong. I'm sure someone will tell me I'm wrong in the comments and leave a dislike and call me dumb and an idiot and a neckbeard and all that stuff. So go ahead, you you can leave those comments in the comments because I don't care. But anyway, um, Homefront the Revolution. I'm sorry, I had a little spasm, but um, I do that sometimes. Homefront the Revolution. This is the Steel Book Edition. I am not looking forward to it. I was originally before I saw the reviews. Uh, it's not supposed to be very good, and considering we just had Doom, Uncharted 4, and even stuff like Ratchet and Clank and Dark Souls 3, you better have a good game, because there hasn't been many really terrible ones this year. So, you better do good, except this one's not supposed to be great. It's not supposed to be, like, awful, but it's supposed to be pretty mediocre to bad. So, um, yeah, I was kind of looking forward to it. I liked the first one's multiplayer, and then they got rid of the competitive multiplayer, and I was like, what are you doing that? And then they're, like, saying it's going to be open world, and I got interested again, and there was going to be limited resources, and it was actually going to feel like a real revolution. There was going to be, like, guerrilla warfare, and then I got interested again, then I saw some gameplay, and I didn't get that interested, and then I got kind of interested again when I heard, like, some people were liking the game, you know, from early previews. So let's get into it. Anyway, here you go. I gave you the entire backstory. So anyway, here's the front. It's a little bit too shiny right now because of the steel book and there's plastic covering it. Um, so there's the front. There's the back. Here's the side. I will show you all this stuff again because it's a little too hard to see right now. All right, so I don't have a knife, but it has that kind of easy to rip off plastic, so it doesn't matter. So it feels a little light considering it's a steel book. Um, all right, so here we go. Here's the front. It's a little bit easier to see now. You can see it says home front here. It says some bullshit right here. Watch this. What? It doesn't actually say all that stuff. It's just, it's just that guy. It's that guy. You know him? It's that guy. I don't know. I'm going to say his name's... Uh, What's this guy's name? I'm going to guess... Uh, what's a generic name? Carver. I'm going to say his name's Carver. No... What's a what's a kind of cool name for a, a war guy? Johnson. His name's Johnson. That's pretty cool. Um, and this person, I can't tell if it's a man or a female. Might be a female. I don't know. Our work looks pretty nice for the most part. Let me open it up. Oop, it has a has a thing. Yep. <laughs> That's so awkwardly placed. Why why put it on the top like that? Like, why not around here? It'll work the same way. Alright. That's usually where they usually go. Usually. Usually. Alright, here we go. That's what it looks like. Looks nice. Nice little steel book. Not bad. Here's what it looks like inside. There's some more art in the back, as you can see. And there's the disc, and there's some DLC. I'm not going to show you that, of course, because I do actually want to redeem it. But it comes with a bunch of stuff and some co-op stuff. By the way, yeah, I should have mentioned that. They got rid of competitive, but they added co-op. Also, if you want to look at this better, here you go. It tells you what it comes with. I don't know why it says this right here. I looked at the box and it says like text, and then it has the that flag. I know what it is. Uh, was whatever. Um, voices, whatever. Not for rental purposes. That that's the one that really um that really got me. Not for rental purposes. What the fuck does that even mean? Because it's a steel book, I guess. Not for rental purposes. Does that mean you just can't rent this game ever? Like Gamefly's just like, alright, fine, whatever, fuck you. We'll rent we'll rent out Valkyria Chronicles remastered. Screw you, eat my dick. We're Gamefly, we'll succeed. You won't. Damn Buster Studios is the guys that make this game. Eat dick. I'm just, I'm just kidding. And this is what it looks like in the back. That actually looks much nicer. That should have been the front cover. Look at that, he's like, he dropped the gun, he's like, oh no, my gun! And then he's getting shot, I think, someone's getting shot. There's a revolution going on, or something. Here's the front of the disc, by the way, if you give a shit. Alright, and uh, here's the manual also. The, the one, oh, oh, wait, hold on. Hold it. There's multiple pages? Whoa! Look at this. 
it actually has like multiple pages. Most manuals nowadays are just one page, or it doesn't even come with manual. Oh, look at this page. This is my favorite page. Ah, there's a lot of information on that one. <laughs> cool. Thank you. Thank you, Deep Silver, for including a manual that has one page of information and then a blank page. <laughs> Uh, and some DLC that was probably on the disc to begin with, but they want to make us feel special by taking it out of the actual game and making it a DLC. So here you go. Boom. 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 Eh, get off. There you go. Boom. Put this back on. Boom. Gotta defend America. That's why it has the UK flag on there. Yay. So there you go. Does the UK flag have a name? Like, our flag's called, like, Freedom. That's our free that's our flag's name, right? Freedom. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm sure. <laughs> it's not called Freedom, you fucking idiot. I'm a commenter. I like to check my dick and tell you you're wrong. <laughs> Anyway, that was my, uh, <clears throat> fuck it, fuck it.